Coyotes All Around by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Steve Bjorkman. One afternoon, a pack of coyotes gathered on the porch of their desert ranch. Look at all those roadrunners, said Clumsy Coyote. Mmm, said Clever Coyote. Isn't it just about lunchtime? There must be hundreds of them, said Cool Coyote. Hundreds, said Clever Coyote. That's ridiculous. There can't be that many. Why don't you guys count and see how many there really are? Clumsy Coyote said, I'll take this side. Careful Coyote took a, the smallest coyote, little one, and said, let's try over here. I've got the best side, bragged Cool Coyote. Everyone started counting. Everyone except Clever Coyote. Clever Coyote was starting to get hungry. While everybody was busy counting, she slunk. She crept. She jumped. She missed. Oof, said Clever Coyote. That ground was hard. So how many birds were there? I need a piece of paper to add everything up, said Careful. Ha, said Clever Coyote. I bet I can do it in my head and come really close. No way, said Little One. Well, 21 is very close to 20. 12 is close to 10, 17 is closer to 20 than to 10, and 8 is almost 10. Adding 10s is easy. Around 60 roadrunners, said Clever, Clever Coyote. Careful took out a pencil and paper and added up the numbers. It's exactly 58, he said. She was just a little over. They don't call me Clever for nothing, said Clever Coyote. I bet there are lots of lizards out there, said Clumsy. Where there are roadrunners, there are lizards. Hey, you're right, said Cool Coyote. It looks like there are thousands of them. There can't be that many, said Clever Coyote. Why don't you count them and see? Clever Coyote was very hungry. While everybody was busy counting, she prowled. She stalked. She pounced. She missed. Ouch, said Clever Coyote. That rock was really pointy. So how many lizards were there? I'll get my paper, said Careful. Don't bother, said Clever Coyote. I'll do it in my head again. Eleven is just one over ten. Thirteen is closer to ten than to twenty. Twenty-seven is closer to thirty than to twenty. Two is a lot closer to zero to, than to ten. Now I'll add up all my tens. Around fifty lizards, Clever Coyote said. Careful wrote the numbers down and added them up. It's exactly fifty-three, he said. She was just a little under. That's why they call me Clever said Clever Coyote. There must be a lot of grasshoppers, said Clumsy. Where there are lizards, there are always grasshoppers. Look, you're right, said Cool Coyote. There could be a million of them. Oh, stop exaggerating, said Clever Coyote. Go ahead and count them up. Clever Coyote was starving. While everyone was busy counting, she lurked. She hid. She leaped. She missed. Yow, said Clever Coyote, that was a really prickly cactus. So how many grasshoppers were there? Where's my paper, asked Careful. Oh, never mind, said Clever Coyote, I bet I can come really close again. But if I do, you guys have to gather some beetles for lunch. They're my favorite. You're on, said Clumsy. You'll never do it three times in a row. Twenty-four is closer to twenty than to thirty. Eighteen is almost twenty. Twenty-five is halfway between twenty and thirty. I'll go up to 30. 12 is closer to 10 than to 20. Now I'll add up all my 10s. Around 80 grasshoppers, Clever Coyote said. Careful wrote the numbers down and added them up. By gosh, she did it, he shouted. The exact answer is 79, he said. She was really close this time. Clever Coyote does it again, said Clever. Now hurry up with those beetles. She smacked her lips. Clumsy jumped, Careful pounced, Cool leaped, and Little One followed. They landed right on top of Clever Coyote. I guess it's about time I gave up on lunch, groaned Not-So-Clever Coyote from the bottom of the pile.